Special Sunday's radio show. I am your host, Miss Special. Got to catch up with Red Pill and Hero the other night when they performed for the Brooklyn Bodega. They just released their newest project. It is so dope, I tell you. I haven't been this excited for a project in so long. Like, oh my goodness. It's called Dream Within a Dream. It is up on Bandcamp. Red Pill and Hero. Dot bandcamp.com R E D P I L L A N D. This is the catch H I R dash O dot bandcamp.com. Red pill and hero dot bandcamp.com. Let's get into the interview. Special Sundays radio show. I am your host, Miss Special, here with Red Pill and Hero. Hi, guys. Long time no see. You know, we were at South by Southwest together where I first saw you guys. I was like, they're dope. I wanted to interview them. But now I've finally done the research and I have all the questions ready. I didn't want to, you know, do that to y'all. Y'all decided to do a project together. Why did you guys decide to do a project together? Uh, fucking dope producer. And we knew people that knew each other. And um, I had to grow custom to, to Hero's planishing abilities, <laughs> as he calls it. He planishes beats. And uh, once I grew accustomed to them, I realized he's the uh, the next big producer out of Detroit. So I had to fuck with him. And that's what it is. What was the process like of you guys working together? Like, he made the beats, and then you wrote to him, or you were like, oh, I got all this stuff, make a beat around it? Kind of just developed how it developed. I mean, there were times where I, he would come in and tell me an idea he had for a song. I would make a beat, and it would be as easy as that. Mm-hmm. Or there would be times where I'd make a beat that... He would come back to like months later and be like, oh, yo, this shit is dope. But I'm like, wait, we didn't we already talk about this? <laughs> or there'll be times where he'll ask me for a certain beat that I, I just will be like, man, fuck that. And then not give it to him. <laughs> and then eventually, like a month later, I'll just show up with it. So it's I mean, there is no real set formula, but we get it done. We got good synergy together. So it works out. That's really intense. And then, of course, you guys both live in Michigan, so it wasn't file sharing. You guys are in the studio together? Yeah, it was at the, at the crib. You guys released Dream Within a Dream, the prelude to the kick. Story behind the title, Dream Within a Dream. Dream Within a Dream is uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, very, very, very loosely based off uh, the movie Inception. And um, Dream Within a Dream is a concept that happens within the, uh, within the movie that you know, there's shared dreaming, you're you're in a certain state of dreaming, but then you can wake up and still be in a dream and it's very uh it's very pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> AKA how I feel when I get high. Not fun. Right. So we um it's called Dream Within a Dream. It's a, it's a small version of the kick, which is what we hope to wake people up to what me and Hero are doing. Um started off as like kind of being pissed off at the way the Michigan hip hop scene is. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of veterans, a lot of people coming up, and the veterans, some of them are cool, some of them don't really fuck with the younger people, and uh, we are kind of pissed off about that, so we decided to show people what we're made of. With songs like The Kick, who do you think of when you're writing a song like that? Because that shit is incredible. I think of me. <laughs> I don't know. I think of uh, The Kick is, is about anybody that's trying to do shit. Anybody, I don't care if you're a journalist, if you're a, a chef, if you're a fucking painter, if, if you just want to be an awesome garbage man, I don't, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're doing. If you're, if you're aspiring towards something, that's what, I, that's what I think about when I think about the kick. The energy of the kick is really, really simple and straightforward. I mean, it's basically like, if you are striving for greatness and you feel as though that greatness is not being uh, seen in the proper light, or people are asleep. You gotta wake them up, it's time to give them the kick. What was the vision when producing the project? Like, did you have a distinct vision or was it a bunch of separate ones or how did that come together? Uh, yeah. You never heard what? Oh, the vision? <laughs> I've never thought about the answer either. Um, I guess we, we had a, a pretty succinct idea at first mm-hmm. um, and it kind of grew into things that became a little bit more complicated. Um, and piece by piece, I think we just started you know, adding pieces here we thought about okay this is what we have so far these are the things that we're missing um and we just wanted the album to sound like a cohesive project not like all the beats sound the same but more like they come from the same energy they come from the same you know space in my heart as a producer and as you know for red pill as an mc we wanted to make sure that they were all coming from a very honest 
space. So. And then the samples, there are certain samples that stick out. The samples for emo rap and we are not like them. What, what did you sample? Uh, emo rap. That is a song by a British pop star named um, Image and Heap. I don't remember. Image and Heap is awesome. Red Pill is a hater. Oh, wow. Um, I don't remember what the name of the song is. Mm-hmm. And We Are Not Like Them is a Beatles sample. I think it's nice. uh, Mind Games. John Lennon. Oh, is it not the beat? Is it just John Lennon? John Lennon on his own. Yeah. Yeah. It's, dope, it's, yeah. it's called Mind Games. It's awesome. Good stuff. And then for this project itself, how did you guys choose the features? Greenlee is a dude that I've met through Hero. Um, he's incredibly fucking talented. And he he actually asked me to he asked me to be on that song and I was like, This shit is dope as fuck, so and I asked him humbly, May we put this on our project? And he said, Yes you can. Nice. But uh Greenlee's dope as fuck. And then Othello I mean Othello is we I met Othello in Lansing, Michigan, um, the capital, and he's from uh Portland. And he's a really, really dope West Coast MC. Um, he's kind of like a big brother figure to me. I learned an incredible amount from him. He's from a lightheaded crew out on, uh, out on the West Coast and, like, Northwest. Um, as far as performance-wise and everything, like, I, I credit a lot to what I've done to him. He was always mentoring me and trying to, you know, give me give me advice. And I, I asked him to be on a song, and he said yes, and that made me feel good. So we, <laughs> so we put him on a track. Actually, we kind of, we had a little, not a fight, but he kind of wanted that beat. I had already claimed it, okay. and so I said, well, do you want to be featured on it? Mm-hmm. And he said, I guess, and I said, okay, thank you. <laughs> For me, it's kind of the same thing. Like, Othello... I gotta give a shout out to Othello, um, <laughs> KT, 14 KT, and Invincible because the, those were the three um, veterans, I guess, so to speak, in, in the Michigan hip hop game that kind of were the first to really give my music a serious listen and um, just really introduced, kind of took me under their respective wings and introduced me to a lot of folks that, you know, were able to really help me get my name out there and get a foot in the door. So much respect to them those are really dope mentors damn that's <laughs> dope dope stuff music videos in mind for this project uh, lots of them and as we're on the shout out train mm-hmm. uh shout out to <laughs> shout out to amari's cousin hero's cousin uh has bay who is doing all of our video work for the project shout out to uh b damon who's going to be doing a little bit of work for us too but um Haz Bay is going to be the main dude that we're working with. Uh, he shot the Something Like 50 Years video. He shot the Nightmare video. we got a video for the kick coming out very soon. Um, I think everybody knows that nowadays it, it's everything's got to be visually heavy as far as the projects you're putting out. So you're going to see a lot of videos from our project the kick. Definitely a, at least one or two videos from, uh, from the project Dream Within a Dream. Visually heavy. And that's Haz Bay. And uh, I believe his Twitter is at N O R R I N H A Z. Norin Ha. For all the nerds out there, that's a reference to Silver Surfer, whose real name is Norin Rad. Oh. It's Norin Ha. Got it. And then, what to expect from the kick later this year? A uh, bunch of fucking emo bullshit. <laughs> it's inspiring, though. Like, I don't think you understand how inspiring you are at all. It's from a, a sad place in a dark, dark spot in my heart, and nobody wants to hear it. I don't <laughs> agree with that at all. That is, well, you know what? That's real because Red Pill has the unique ability to be able to, you know, charge an audience and charge a listening audience with like very intense emotional content, which is like important in rap. And for me, um, it complements the beats that I try to do well because everything that I do is from the heart like I don't a lot of producers say that they make you know they can make a beat in like 10 minutes and that's cool but I I don't like I spend days hours on my beats just because I, I want it to be honest mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I don't I don't want to talk a lot about like oh this is real hip hop this is blah blah I mean because I don't really know what that I was born in like, like when hip hop was already yeah. pretty much a full grown art form so exactly. 
my understanding and relationship to hip hop is not going to be the same as those who started it. Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing is trying to do honest hip hop, like something that's honest to where, where I'm coming from in here. So I like but that I a lot. Too. It's just more sad. <laughs> it's just sad when you're honest. For Special Sunday's radio show every Sunday, 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and everything special, check out specialsundays.com.